Known around the world for its hospitality sector, the city is filled with hotels and restaurants, making it an exciting place for anyone who wants to train with the best and make a name for themselves as a chef. But how did one of the Emirates' best known and longest running culinary schools react when COVID-19 led to teaching kitchens being closed down? Here to tell us is Chef Francisco Araya, the culinary director at the School of Culinary and Finishing Arts in JLT. Chef, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Pl Pleasure to have you with us. What kind of impact did the pandemic have on teaching in the culinary sector last well, year? Sorry, it had an impact in everybody's life. Yep, uh, on us it was really a big impact because we were we had to close. You know, for the for the safety of our students, our staff, we had to close for over two months. Uh, and instead of just going home, you know, and waiting to reopen, we had to change our model. We had to uh, uh, do online classes, theory classes. We even set up a studio for uh, uh, where the teacher would be able to do something practical and some big screens look at what the students were doing. So we had to change our way of working. So you guys changed. What about the students? Did what they wanted and what they expected, what their objectives were, did they change too? I think that, of course, they've changed. We have a lot of new students, uh, some lot of them changing careers, right, from other industries coming into this industry mm -hmm. to join the industry to work as entrepreneurs. So uh, they've changed, and because of that, we also have to change and adjust to what's happening. Mm. I mean, I know that you have a, um, a, a school in Pakistan. Yes. You have restaurants there. You have a restaurant here as well. But yep. during the lockdown, everything had to close. So how did your business model change? Uh, it made us change, as the news you were saying before, you know, in this world where everything is changing, we had to change. Mm. So from having a dining restaurant in both of our schools in, in Dubai and Pakistan, uh, today we're starting, we've started already a cloud kitchen. Mm. So we, we found there's a niche, the customer has changed, they don't want to dine out, they want to dine at home. Many of them are, you know, working at home. So it has become a quite interesting exercise from a classes perspective and also as a retail we had to build a, a, a cloud kitchen and we already have four concepts running uh, uh, not long ago but we already have four and our plan is to add two concepts per month to get to a total of 12 to 15 concepts in six months time. Wow so that's that's a lot I mean that, there's been some benefits that have c come out of this situation then. If you know you need to attend to, 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 cha to, to the circumstances that we're living. Uh, if you don't adapt, you're just going to die. Mm. So it's, it's brought new opportunities. It, I think it's going to change. Everybody's going to change the industry. Whoever is not changes in this industry, you want, it will just disappear and be left back. So let's look then at the next couple of years. How do you project the business changing over the sort of short to medium term? Uh, uh, I, I believe a lot in the, in, in, in the hospitality industry in Dubai, that's why I'm here, I'm from Chile, I'm really far away from it. Uh, I'm seeing already certain changes, you know, uh, uh, in the last, let's say, two months, a lot of st our, our students have joined hotels and so on, so you see the industry is already hiring back again. Mm. Um, we plan to grow, and we plan to grow on both sides. We already had a plan to, glow, to grow the, the school in the GCC area, and also in South Asia. Mm -hmm. So opening more schools, but we've changed our way of making business. So the school is also now attached to this cloud concept and the idea is to grow with both and growing school and growing cloud kitchen. Exciting times. Chef Francisco, yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you.